Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update August 1st, 2019 edition. Make sure to watch till the end, where for your convenience, I do a recap of all the dramas I covered in this episode. Now some of you might have noticed that we've had many awesome dramas premiere in June and July, and I was thinking, that's a little bit uncharacteristic. Where are they, the producers and studios, showering us, the drama lovers, with so many dramas in such a short period of time? And then I came across an article that shed some light on why that might be. More on that later. In today's episode, Ordinary Glory, Mr. Fighting and a Little Reunion premieres, and 100 Days of Broadcasting. But first, The Luckiest Couple on Earth is an upcoming drama that is rumored to star Xiao Chan and Yang Zi. Now, I was a bit skeptical with this rumor, but I did check their Wikipedia pages, and indeed, this drama is listed under their filmographies. Granted, anybody can edit and add stuff on Wikipedia, but statements need to be verified and sources need to be cited. So at the moment, it's nothing more than a hot rumor, but if it does materialize, it will be a highly anticipated drama. Xiao Tan is just coming off the super popular costume drama The Untamed, and Yang Zi is currently in the hit rom-com Go Go Squid. Anyways, I just thought I'd throw that in the air to get you guys excited, but on with the show. Here's Mark Chow's new drama. Ordinary Glory is a modern drama starring Mark Chow and Bai Jingting. Mark Chow plays a workaholic team leader in an investment company, and Bai Jingting plays a rookie who enters the company and works under Mark Chow's character. I'm looking forward to Mark Chow in this as I feel he's great at playing intense characters. And from the look of the trailer, it seems his character is just that. I first saw Mark in the 2010 Taiwanese gangster movie Manga, which he starred in with Ethan Ron. Throughout the years, he's done a bunch of movies and dramas, including of course the wildly successful 10 Miles of Peach Blossoms. But the impression I get from him is that he is very selective of his projects. Like he doesn't just take whatever comes his way. He and his team consider many things before deciding whether or not to take a project. In fact, the only drama he's done since 10 Miles of Peach Blossoms is a guest appearance on Midnight Diner, a 2017 modern drama. He does movies too, so that will also explain why his dramas are so few and far in between. And he recently became a dad, so that won't change anytime soon. Ordinary Glory is a remake of the 2014 Korean drama Mi Sang. I haven't seen it, but I read that it won a bunch of awards, recorded high viewership ratings, and was a cultural phenomenon. Seems like the bar is set pretty high, but hey, that's never stopped Chinese producers from doing a remake. Ordinary Glory's screenwriter reportedly spent two years researching the finance sector before writing the script. The drama is slated for 42 episodes and an August 27th premiere. Mr. Fighting starring Teng Lun and Sandra Ma premiered earlier today. The good news is it's already available on YouTube. The bad news, it's only available in the Americas. It also says that for copyright reasons, English subtitles for the Americas will be available after six months, which is a real bummer for the international audiences. Anyhow, if you want to check it out, it's there. I did. I skimmed through the first episode like I always do new dramas and found it extremely charming. They used the actor's original dialogue instead of overdubbing, so we get to see the actor's performances with their own voices. And in that respect, the actors have really shown. Deng Lun plays a really jaded and disgruntled former star to a T, but I'm sure eventually his character mends his ways. Sandra Ma plays a supermarket employee who becomes his assistant, and right off the bat there are many humorous moments. Apparently, Sandra put on over 15 pounds for her role, which is quite a bit of weight to put on. A Little Reunion is a family drama starring Huang Lei and Hai Qing, and it premiered yesterday. The drama focuses on China's notorious college entrance exam, Gao Kao, and follows three high school seniors and their families as they prepare for the exam of their lives. Many of us have gone through important exams in our lives, so we can relate to what these students are going through. Just a word of advice to those of you who are about to sit for important exams. Don't spend too much time watching these students in the dramas preparing for their exams, or you might end up failing your own. On a serious note, these exams are important, but do remember that life goes beyond them. Don't be too hard on yourself if you don't get the desired result. Remember, there's always second chances and other roads to take. So give exams the required respect and focus, but always remember, they are not the be-all and end-all. A Little Reunion is available on YouTube, three episodes in at the moment, but no English subs yet. So I was saying earlier that we have been blessed with an array of awesome dramas these past couple of months, and I came across an article that might explain why this is. The Chinese Censorship Board, more technically the State Administration of Press Publication, Radio, Film, and Television, SAPPRFT, announced that China is set to roll out a patriotic TV campaign called 100 Days of Broadcasting. 
As part of the initiative, they've compiled a list of 86 TV shows that they consider to be timely and relevant in this hyper-political period. While they didn't explicitly require stations to broadcast any of them, there is every indication that stations are encouraged to do so. At the same time, they also want TV stations across the country to stop broadcasting programs that are not in tune with the general atmosphere, such as historical and idol dramas that contain quote-unquote too many entertaining elements. That would be all the dramas in my previous video entitled My Top 5 Dramas of the Summer. And that would maybe explain why so many dramas came out at the same time, to beat this campaign's deadline if you will. So moving forward, I'm anticipating more and more dramas premiering and they will try to air all of their episodes within this 3 month period before the campaign begins, which is actually not terrible news. And the other good thing is that there are some dramas on the list of 86 TV shows that I am interested in. The Best of Times starring Chen Xingxu and Hu Bingqing, Fearless Whispers starring Li Yifeng and Jenna Jin, and Awakening of Insects starring Zhang Ruoyun and Wang Ou are just a few of them. So a quick recap of all the dramas I covered in this episode. Ordinary Glory is slated to premiere on August 27th. Mr. Fighting and A Little Reunion both premiered recently and are available on YouTube. And that's all for today guys, thanks for watching and give me your thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe and like and I hope to see you all in the next one. Cheers!